I'm going to go through a couple of techniques that you can use to help you to reduce any feelings of anxiety that you might be having around your studies or your upcoming exams. So the first step is to take a step back when you're feeling anxiety and pay close attention to what you're saying to yourself in your head when you start experiencing these anxious feelings. And a good thing to do would be to actually write these thoughts down word for word on a piece of paper or, or on a device. Write them down word for word exactly as you say them in your head to yourself. So if you're experiencing anxiety about the exam, what you say to yourself as an example might be something like, this is way too hard, there's too much information to take in, and the exam questions are impossible to answer. Now, the thing you should try to realize is that a statement like that, it's not a statement of objective facts. Instead, it's actually a statement that reflects the value judgments that you're making about the situation. And the problem with this is that your value judgments are being affected by a whole range of different factors, including unconscious biases that you might have about yourself that by definition, you're not even consciously aware of. For example, if you didn't happen to do so well in your final exams in school, as I didn't, you might just assume on a subconscious level that you're just no good at exams. Now, factually, that may or may not be true, but what about all of the other factors that could be relevant to why you didn't do well at exams in school? For example, maybe home life was a disaster zone. Maybe you were more interested in physical training than academic achievements. Maybe the school teachers were substandard. Maybe you were dumped by your girlfriend. Maybe you were suffering from poor health or an injury. And there could be many more things that are relevant. You may actually have an innate ability within yourself to be very good at exams, but that just hasn't yet been given the opportunity to emerge because one or more of the other factors. The bottom line is that your thoughts can be very easily skewed and because your thoughts affect your feelings you can end up experiencing unwanted and unnecessary anxiety. It's human nature to engage in this type of negative thought process and a word that's often used to describe it is catastrophizing. One way to defeat this type of negative thinking is to take a step back and view the situation in a more rational and less emotional way. To do this, calmly rephrase your assessment of the situation, but do it in a way that strips out the emotional aspects and leave behind only what is objectively true. Now, there are literally tens of thousands of people who successfully achieve this qualification. So going back to that original statement, how can it possibly be true? But we don't want to kid ourselves either by pretending that it's going to be easy. There's no advantage there. So, for example, the initial part of the statement from earlier, this is way too hard becomes this is a challenge. This statement acknowledges the fact that it is going to be a challenge but does so in a way that can be said to be objectively true. Following on from that, the statement there's too much information to take in becomes there's a lot of information to take in. And the statement the exam questions are impossible to answer becomes the exam questions are difficult to answer. This new true version of the situation might already be leading to a reduction in feelings of anxiety, but we can take things even further. For every part of the now decatastrophized statement, in a rational way, balance the demands of the situation with your perceived ability to cope. For example, this is a challenge which I am more than up to because I'm going to set out a plan and I'm going to stick to it. There's a lot of information to take in, so I'll break it down into smaller sections and learn the key principles first so I don't get bogged down and not be able to see the wood for the trees. 
The exam questions are difficult to answer, so I will learn various techniques for answering questions and regularly practice applying them. So do this for all of the negative things you find yourself thinking about in relation to your studies and exams. Once you've converted everything, as per how I've just laid out, record it all down and make it available at a moment's notice so that when you're hit by these anxious feelings, you can read through your rational, decatastrophized interpretation of the situation and prevent yourself being dragged down into a negative thought spiral and banish the unwanted, unnecessary feelings of anxiety. Good luck. I hope you've got some value out of the video that you've just seen. If so, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel so that you can be alerted to when we produce and upload more videos.